My name is Caitlin. I'm a zoo educator here at Happy Hollow Park and Zoo. And don't worry, we miss you guys so much, but even while we're closed, our keepers are here, still making sure that our animals are getting the best possible care. And of course, being as safe as we possibly can while they are at it. Now, I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to one of our education animals. These are the animals that live inside this building behind me. I'm standing out in front of the Learning Lodge at Meet and Greet Corner, where you might come to see an animal up close if you're here on a regular zoo visit. And I would like to introduce you to one of our most popular animals that we bring out for meet and greets. He's right here. Let me get him out for you. So this is one of our African four-toed hedgehogs. They're also known as African pygmy hedgehogs. And this little guy right here, his name is Glitch. So he is actually our newest African four-toed hedgehog. He came to us most recently. He was actually found in somebody's yard here in the Bay Area. Now, as you might have guessed by their name, African pygmy hedgehogs or African four-toed hedgehogs are not native to the Bay Area. They come from Africa. So what probably happened is somebody had a pet hedgehog that escaped. But we're actually not allowed to have these guys as pets in California, which is why he was rehomed to us here at the zoo as opposed to adopted out. Now, the reason we're not allowed to have them as pets has to do with what they eat. Anyone out there have a guess? Now, technically they're omnivores, but they love bugs. They have sharp little teeth and they're very good hunters when they're hungry, hunting down these bugs. And since they're not native to California or to the Bay Area, if we had wild hedgehogs running around here that had escaped from somebody's house, they would eat so many bugs. They would have a huge impact on our ecosystem and they could really mess things up. So since we have a lot of special and unique animals here in California. We have some animals that we're not allowed to have as pets in order to protect our native animals. Now a lot of times when I bring out a hedgehog, some people think, oh my gosh, it's so small. It has spines. It must be a baby porcupine. But they're actually a completely different type of animal. So a lot of people think they're baby porcupines because they are a lot smaller than the porcupines we have in North America but they're actually totally different. The biggest difference is their spines. Now I did call them spines, but they're really just a modified hair. These thick and pokey hairs coming out of the back of Glitch's back here are very similar to a porcupine's quills. But the biggest difference is that a porcupine can let its quills fall off of its back. Not quite at will, they don't shoot their, their spines, they don't shoot their quills, the only place you'll see that is in a cartoon but they do come off very easily. So that is, if a porcupine is being attacked by something, it can basically run backwards into it, get those spines stuck, get those quills stuck into the predator's body, and they'll come right out into its nose or into its face. Now, Glitch here has a slightly different strategy with his spines. If he was attacked by a predator, his spines don't come out of his body. They're meant to stay put. They kind of feel like toothpicks and they're pretty sturdy. Instead, what he does is he rolls up into a tight little ball. So he's basically just a whole ball of spines that nobody wants to eat. The reason he has to roll up into a ball is because his face here and his tummy, if you can get a little look there, don't have any spines on them. His face and his tummy just have this very soft fur. So that's the part of his body that he has to protect the most. Now, he only rolls up in a ball if he's nervous, and I don't want to make him do that on purpose to show you guys. But I do have a photo here. If a hedgehog rolls up in a ball, it looks a lot like that. You can barely see their face. Okay. Now with all of these sharp spines on his back, you might be wondering, how is a hedgehog born? Can a mom hedgehog give birth to something that is so sharp and spiny like this? And the answer is yes, of course she can. Hedgehogs are mammals, so they do give live birth. But when they're first born, their spines are not fully hardened yet. Their spines are soft and kind of flexible so that they don't hurt so much. And here's what a newborn baby hedgehog looks like. You can see those thin little spines. They're not quite solidified yet. They're nice and flexible so mom can take care of them. It doesn't take them too long to begin acting like a regular old hedgehog, even when they're very young, 
they can already roll up in a ball. We already talked about that a little bit. They actually have a special muscle that runs all the way down their back below their spines. So Glitch has a special muscle that runs all the way down here and all the way down towards his tail. And that's what allows them to roll up in their nice little ball. And it also allows them to control each of those spines individually. So when they are rolled up on a ball to protect themselves from a predator, they can actually make each of their spines stand up on end and be a little bit sturdier and pokier than they would be otherwise. And that's actually why it's safe for me to hold Glitch right now and why I don't need gloves to do it. Because right now he's relaxed. You can see he's looking around, smelling the world. He's not afraid of me. He's used to being handled. So he is not contracting that muscle right now in order to make his spine stand up. So he's not hurting my hands at all. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is his nose. Look at that nose. See how it's wiggling nonstop? So hedgehogs are nocturnal. That's the science word we use for animals who are awake at night and sleep during the day. They're the opposite of us. And since he's nocturnal and he doesn't have particularly good eyesight, his best sense for finding those bugs that he wants to eat is his sense of smell. So even during the day, that little nose is always going, smelling for something interesting or something dangerous to keep him either well fed or safe and away from predators. All right, now I'm gonna give Glitch a chance to go home and go back to sleep. It is the middle of the night for him after all when it's the middle of the day for us. So thank you so much for watching. Again, we miss you all. We hope you're staying safe and healthy at home and we hope we'll be able to see you again soon when Happy Hollow reopens. Bye everyone.